Welcome, Christy. Hello, hello. Hi. Welcome to the class. Uh, we are going to make a review, repaso, Christy, review of the imperatives. Okay? So let's begin with the imperatives. Disculpe, no podía activar el micrófono. Ah, I understand, no problem. <laughs> welcome, Patty, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, it's a pleasure. Uh, participation today, Patty? Yes. Excellent, awesome. I like it. <laughs> okay, now, yesterday we were learning about the affirmative, right? We use affirmative to give instructions, instruction, right? Direction, et cetera, et cetera. Um, here, for example, we have the affirmative. We say, go to the corner. Go to the corner, is it, right? Uh, open the window. Eat slowly. Turn right. Turn left, et cetera, et cetera. So those are indications, right? Instructions and how to do or how to get to, to one place, right? And um, notice that we don't use a subject. Welcome, Jorge. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So we don't, we don't use a subject. We go with the verb immediately. We say go. We don't say she goes or they go or I go. No, no. We don't go, open, eat, etc. Et and when we give a negative, we say don't, don't go, don't turn, don't walk, don't turn on the, don't turn on the TV, etc. etc. Right. And here we have some examples of imperative, right? Uh, oh, sorry. And before to make this exercise, we're going to make a review of the some uh, prepositions, right? We we saw yesterday. Look at this. Next to. Between. Across the street. Around the corner, on the right, on the left, down the street. Okay, these are the instructions, right? So we're going to make a little exercise here. Uh, Here, right. In, in this exercise, we're going to change the the affirmative, the negative, sorry, to the to the affirmative, right? Okay, let's make it together, right? For example, don't walk, negative, walk, affirmative, right? Okay, then, uh, Patty, please don't take the a taxi. What is the 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 affirmative for? Don't take a taxi. Take a taxi. Take a taxi. A taxi. Mm -hmm. Christy, don't drive. Affirmative. Drive. Drive. Easy, right? Drive. Nice. Okay. Now. We're going to play a game. Good. I will give you five opportunities to guess this, this word. This is a word, right? Okay. Uh, let's start with 
Let's say Beatriz. Please, Beatriz, give me a letter from the alphabet, Beatriz. Um, F. F. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You say F, right? Uh, no, it's not right. Sorry. Cling. Oh, and sorry. <laughs> okay. Next one, please. Uh, Giovanni. Give me a letter from the alphabet, Giovanni. Hi, teacher. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Give me a letter from the alphabet, Giovanni. Uh, G? G, letter G. Uh, no, sorry. Okay. Uh, Jennifer Guadalupe. Thank you, Giovanni. Jennifer Guadalupe, please give me a letter from the alphabet. Welcome. Welcome, Jennifer. Now, I will give you a clue. This is uh, uh, instructions to give direction, right? So, you know, between, around the corner, next to, um, uh, across the street, near, et cetera, et cetera, right? Jennifer? Okay. Uh, then Esau, please. Hello. Welcome, Esau. Give me a letter from the alphabet, please. Hi, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Letter A. Letter A. No, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, Esmeralda, please. Uh, sería uh, I. I. No, ay, 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 no. Patty? One letter. Yeah, one letter. O todo. Um, if you know the word? Next to. Oh, my goodness. Yes, next. Oh, just give me a second here. I will change the color. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Ah. Next. Two, right? Excellent. Also, next two, right? Okay, let's go to the next one, right? A new word. I'm going to start with, um, but Mario is just listener. Jorge, please give me a letter from the alpha, Jorge. Letter B. Letter B. D, 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 D. Uh, no, sorry. No letter D, right? Christy? E. E. Oh, sorry. E. Okay. No, sorry. The clue is, it's a place. It's a place, right? It's a place. Jennifer, are you ready, Jennifer? Miss Riva Rosales? No, okay, so... Ready, teacher. Okay, give me a letter from the alphabet, Jennifer. R. R. Okay, the letter R. No, sorry. It's a place, right? It's a place. Beatriz, give me a letter from the alphabet, Beatriz. Welcome. Maybe E? E. Already, repetition, E. 
Sorry. Two times E. Excuse me. Giovanni? Perdón, teacher. Es que voy en camino. Ah. No, no problem, Giovanni. When you get home, tell me. When you okay. get home, tell me. Yes, don't worry. Don't worry. Continue walking. Be, be careful. Be careful, please. Esaú, please, give me a letter from the alphabet. It's a place. It's a place. Remember? The places like the pharmacy, the bank, the, you know? Letter B. Letter B. Letter B, letter B. No, sorry. Five opportunity. And you lose. But I will give you two more opportunity, right? Extra, extra bonus. Extra no, bonus, right, no, Patty? No, sorry? No, la palabra completa no es quit. Sorry? Fire. I can hear you. Fire. No, I can hear you, Jorge. Fire. No, Fire. no. No, no. It's not. Sorry. Patty, please give me a letter from the alphabet. Two more opportunities. A. A. <laughs> a, B, C, D, E, F, G. No, sorry. Six Richard. What? Z. Letters Z. 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 My goodness, I will give you ten, ten opportunities. <laughs> okay. Their best in cuando you say. Teacher, letter O. Letter O, Beatriz. Okay, let me see. My goodness, is correct. Letter O. Cling. Very good. Let me see anybody else. Uh, Jorge. Hi. Hi. No, no, no. No. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Ay. No, no, estoy, estoy pensando. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, Esmeralda, Esmeralda, so Esmeralda. Yeah. Derevaso, derevaso. Hey, give me a letter from the alphabet, Esmeralda. Mm -hmm. Eh, ah, ok. Eh, ah. No, no, no. No. Ah, no. Ah. Sorry. No, no. Este sería. <risa> ¿Di? Di. Ti o di. Sí. A, B, C. A, B, C. Sí, letter C. Mm -hmm. Ok, nice. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Christy. Yes. Yes. Very good. Letter S. My goodness, it's correct. Oopsie. Letter S, right? Okay, Esau again. H. 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 Oh. Oh, two two letters, Esau. Come on. <laughs> okay, teacher, L. Is... L, are you sure? Yes, school. Yes. Yeah, but I gave you seven opportunities. It's only five opportunities. Okay, for the next one, please. Ready? Okay, uh, this is imperative. Imperative. Remember? imperative you give instruction right i'm going to start with christy again come on christy give me a letter from the alphabet d d no five opportunities okay five opportunities d it's instruction remember right esau yeah. Hmm. Okay, L. Yep. Later L. L. Yes. Totally right. Remember is instruction, right? Instruction. Oopsie. Uh, the color. 
L. That's it, right? Uh, Jennifer Guadalupe, please, a letter from the alphabet. You. 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 No, sorry, no me. Okay. Uh, Patty. E. E. No, sorry, no E. Esmeralda. Age. 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 I'm sorry, no age. Instruction, remember, instruction is related with transportation. Uh huh, Beatriz. Letter K. K. Correct. Cling. Do you have the word? Instructions. No? Okay, so the last word is going to be, ladies and gentlemen, to Vilma. Hello, Vilma. She's connecting in this moment, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Vilma. Welcome, welcome. Vilma, we're playing Ahorcado. Hangman. I need you give me a letter from the alphabet, Vilma. A, B, C, D, etc., etc. The word is related to transportation and instructions. Vilma? Present teacher. Hello, hello. Welcome, Vilma. Okay, give me a letter from the alphabet. A, a B, C. C. Uh -huh. A. A, okay. B, C, D. No, no, F, only G. one. No, no, only one. Excuse me. Mm. <laughs> only one. Letter A. Yes? B. Okay, very good. Thank you, Vilma. Letter A is correct. My goodness. Acaba de entrar Vilma y adivinó. Oh. Walk. Eh, A, right? A. Ajá, Patricia. Pati? W. W. Are you sure? W. Yes, it's correct. W, right? Walk. Instructions, imperative, walk. That's nice. Uh-huh, Jorge, you are right. Too late, but yes, you are right. <laughs> okay, the last one. The last one is a place. Is a place. Okay? Now, I will start with uh, Beatriz. Please give me a letter from the alphabet, Beatriz. M. M. Ah, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm thinking. no, no. Uh, ah, ah. A. A. Cling. Correct. Letter A. Okay. Thank you. Now, let me see. Uh, Esau, please. Letter P. 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 Okay. And, sorry. No. Remember, it's a place in the city. Esmeralda? B. B. No. Yes, it's correct. B, right? Jorge? Letter E. Letter E. Right. Okay, letter E. And, no, sorry. Oh, when I copy a P, right? It's three. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, and... Let me see. Jennifer Guadalupe, please. A letter from the alphabet. It's a place. Jennifer, it's a place. You know, like pharmacy, school, library. 
Mm -hmm. Bank teacher. Sorry. Bank. 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 Who said that? Who said bank? I, I, the name, your name, please. Who said bank? Christy. Oh, Christy. Congratulations. Yes, it's bank. Bank. You work in a bank, right? Christy. Yes. Nice. Now, we're going to finish the, this is the review of yesterday, right? Eh, si se recuerdan ayer por la plataforma, dejamos a medio terminar esto, yes. And now I have a joke, look. Joke, chiste, right? The son say to the father, el hijo al papá. Daddy, what is an alcoholic? Alcoholic, sorry. And the father said, do you see those four trees, son? An alcoholic would see eight trees. And the song said, mm, Dad, there are only two trees. Okay, very good. Now we're going to uh, share one material, right? Related to instructions and places in the city, right? But before that, I will take the attendance. The attendance say present, please. This is the class number 19. And tomorrow we finish. Ta -da! You finish basic three. Congratulations. Okay, don't miss the class tomorrow. Eh, desde ya les estoy suplicando que el día de mañana no me vayan a fallar. Nadie, okay, nadie, absolutamente. No excuses. Que si voy a trabajar, no. Que si voy caminando, no. A las ocho y media comenzamos la, la um, encuesta, right? Y los quiero a todos. A las ocho y media. Ocho y media, sí, ocho. Eight thirty, right? A las ocho y media, sí. Por si les agarra el tráfico, por los juegos y todo eso, pues a las ocho y media, ¿verdad? Ok. Good. So, eh, Enoch. Cristina. Present. Thank you. Carolina, Esaú, Elizabeth, Jill, Giovanni, Beatriz, present, thank you, Jennifer, Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo. Jorge. Present teacher. Oh, thank you. Welcome, everyone. Eh, Jorge. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Alejandro. Manuel. Karina. Mario, Andres, Oscar, Patricia, Present. Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you, Vilma. Present teacher. Thank you very much. To everybody, aquí tengo un mensaje de present. Eh, Mario, ok, very good, Mario. Mario, ok, here, right? Remember, tomorrow no oyente, para mañana no quiero ningún oyente, todos vamos a participar, ¿verdad? Ya saben que la semita corre de parte de Eduardo siempre, ok? Yes, a los fascistas les toca la. <laughs> la Sorry, Eduardo. I'm kidding, it's not true, it's not true. Okay, class, we're going to practice here uh, some, some places in the city, right? Remember, we were talking about bank, pharmacy, school, etc. So here we have some places. Listen, please. I have here the post office. Oh, ya ni se usa, pero the post office. We have the drugstore, uh, the gas station, the department store. Like Sara's, eh, Prisma, Simán, 
soundboards, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? A bank. A bank, for example, Atlantida. The best bank in El Salvador. A bank. Los mejores dos bancos del Salvador. A bank y Atlantida. <laughs> okay. Very good. A bank. Then, uh, bookstore. Remember, bookstore is where you can buy the books. A coffee shop. A supermarket. And a pupuseri. Ah, no, pupuseria, no, excuse me. You know, it's the most important place in El Salvador, right? Pupuseria. Wherever you go, you see a pupuseria. Okay, I have a message here. Uh, Jill. Um, very good, Jill. Ya le, le tomé la asistencia ya, Jill. Excelentoso. Okay, now. Uh, where can you buy aspirin? Where can you buy aspirin? You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Look. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Right? You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. So letter B. Letter B. A drugstore, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Bread. Where can you buy bread? Where can you buy bread? Volunteers, please. Volunteers. In a bakery. In a bakery. But let me see. Bakery, bakery. Well, it's possible. Letter G. Or in the bakery. supermarket. In the supermarket. Cling. Very good. So supermarket is letter H, right? Letter H. Uh-huh. Here. Letter H. Ta okay, very good. Now, but please, can you tell me the full sentence, please? You can buy bread at a supermarket. Repeat, please. You can buy bread at a supermarket, right? Very good. Now, next one, please. Where can you buy a dictionary? You can buy a dictionary in a post office, a drugstore, gas station. Letter F. Letter F, Christina. Let me check. F. F. Okay, please, Christina. Can you tell me the full sentence? You can buy a dictionary. Repeat, please, Christina. You can buy a dictionary. At a? At a? Bookstore. Bookstore. Repeat, please. Bookstore. Excellent. Also, Christy. Now, let me see. Letter F, right? Okay. Good. Now, where can you buy gasoline? Letter C. Letter C. A gas station. Letter C. Gas station. Okay. But please. Uh, who said Esmeralda, please? You can buy gasoline, please. You can buy gasoline. At? At? Uh-huh. A gas? At? A gas? At? Uh -huh. A gas? A gas. Uh-huh. <laughs> A gas. <laughs> A gas store. No. Gas. Drugstore. No, come on. Ah. Gas. <laughs> gas. Sorry. No, you... Sorry. <laughs> All the aspirin. A gas is... is, is gas station. Is, gas station. No, station. Gas, 
gas station. Excellent, gas station. Very good. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Thank you very much. Now, a sandwich. Where can you buy a sandwich? Where can you buy a sandwich? G. Letter G. Okay, Christy, thank you very much. Letter G. Letter G, right? Christy, please, I need you to tell me the full sentence. You can buy a sandwich. You can buy, you can buy a sandwich at a coffee, lo demás no me acuerdo, coffee shop. <laughs> At a coffee, lo demás no me acuerdo. At a coffee shop. Yes, coffee very shop. good. Coffee shop. Good. Stamps. Where can you buy stamps? Where can you buy stamps? Bueno, ya no compramos estampillas, va. Todavía, pero ya no, no mucho. Letter A. Letter A. A post office. Letter A. A post office. Letter A. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I need you give me the full sentence. Patty, please. You can buy. You can buy a, a stamp at you can, a you can post buy, office. Mm, but you can buy stamps. A stamp. No, stamps. no, no, no. Patty, Patty, pat, listen. Stamps. 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 Okay, like student, right? Steven. In El Salvador, of course, but if we say a Steven, right? A Steven, vení. Sí. Deja andar peleando. Steven. A Steven, right? But no, it's, okay. it's Steven, right? Steven. Okay, Steven. Stamps, 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 stamps. Stamps. Okay, stamps. You, can, you can buy stamps, please, Patty. You can buy stamps. You can buy stamps at, at a post office. Okie dokie, thank you. A suit, you know, a traje, right? A suit. Where can you buy a suit? Letter D. Letter D. Letter D. Okay, Jorge, please. The full sentence, Jorge. You can buy a you suit. Can buy, a suit. You can buy a suit. At a? At a department. Department. Department store. Department store, Jorge. Department uh -huh. store. Very good. Thank you, Jorge. Okay, and give me a second. Realme un segundito, que aquí me, me dice Alejandro, que va a estar de oyente. Okay, welcome, Alejandro. Welcome. Jill, le funciona el micrófono, Jill. Jill. No me manda un mensaje ahí. Vamos a ver, aquí está un mensajito. Let's see. Ah, okay, Jill, no problem. Le vamos a dar tiempo ahí. Now, and then the tra check of the viajero, a traveler check. Uh, where can you buy traveler checks? Sorry? Letter? E. A bank. A bank. Letter E, right? Okay, again, again, uh, Jorge. Uh -huh. uh, you can buy a travel check at a bank. At a bank, at a bank. Good. Uh -huh. And in this case, uh, Jorge, you cannot say a traveler check. Look, a... Uh, Traveler. Traveler. 
checks. Why not? Because uh, because a is for singular and so a no, right? Traveler checks is plural. You can say a suit. Mm. You can say, it's, uh -huh, it's plural. So you cannot say ah, no. Only traveler checks. You can say, uh, uh, for example, a dictionary or a suit. No problem. But a uh, traveler checks? No. Only traveler checks. You can buy traveler checks at a bank, right? Thank you very much for your participation. Now listen to the audio. Pay attention, please. I have another message. Estaré de oyente. Okay, Vilma. Oh, thank you, Vilma. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let me see. Listen to the audio, please. Unit 13. You can't miss it. Page 86, exercise 1. Word power. Places and things. Part A. Where can you buy these things? Match the things with the places. Then listen and practice. 1. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. 2. You can buy bread at a supermarket. 3. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. 4. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. 5. You can buy a sandwich at a coffee shop. 6. You can buy stamps at a post office. 7. You can buy a suit at a department store. 8. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. Okay. Good. So places in the city, right? Sometimes you are looking for those places and when you ask directions, ¿se acuerdan de la pregunta de ayer? Do you ask directions or do you use the ways? So when you ask the, or when you give directions, you use the, you use the imperative, right? The imperative. Now, we're going to go to a practice here, listening. Just give me a second here. I will put it in the center. Okay. Now, this is the Anderson family. Right? Imagine the, for example, the, the Rivera's family, you know, Familia Rivera, the Rivera family, Christy and her father. <laughs> no, no. In this case, it's the Anderson family, right? The Anderson. So we are going to listen to the conversation of the Anderson family. What do they need? Where are they going to buy those things? For example, I need pupusas. Where Am I going to buy the pupusa in a pupuseria? So you are going to copy what, what do you need, and where the place you're going to get it, right? For example, we have Jean, mom, mother, right? Dad, father, and Mike. I imagine Jean is the daughter, the mother, the, the father, and Mike is the son, right? So listen, please, and complete. Page 87, exercise 2. Listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to get the things? Complete the chart. 1. Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. 2. 
Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. Okay, let's listen for the second time, class. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Two. Okay, wait, wait Are you going to look for... Again. Tomorrow? Yes. One. Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I need a swimsuit, right? Traje de baño, right? Because they're going to go to the beach, right? But where is Jean going to buy the suit? I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Okay, class. Where is Jean going to get the swimsuit? Where? In a department store, my goodness. Yes. A department store, right? Like Sabors, uh, Prisma, Sara, Simang, etc. Et department store. Right? The mom. Let's go to mom. Listen to mom. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Okay, what does mom need? What is she going to buy? Chocolate cookies. Chocolate cookie, right? All I say in general, cookies. Mm -hmm. Supermarket. Uh -huh. She's going to buy a supermarket? No, it's too big to buy a supermarket. <laughs> okay. Cookies, right? Yes. Now, now, where is she going to buy the cookies? Uh huh. Repeat. You say that, right, Jill? Where, Jill? A uh, supermarket. A supermarket. My goodness. Supermarket. Very good. Selectos. Today, uh, selectos. Oh, probably Walmart selectos. Uh, el super de Don Julio, etc. Right? Okay. A supermarket. Jill, today you have the fan. Hoy tiene super ventilador siempre, Jill. Yes. Yes, excellent. <laughs> Pero hoy no está haciendo calor, Jill. Hoy está haciendo frío. <laughs> Me voy a resfriar. <laughs> okay, good. Dad, listen, continue, please. Three. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Okay, what does the dad need? 
Aspirin. Aspirin, correct. Aspirin. And where is he going to? Aspirin. To the pharmacy. In, to the pharmacy. Aspirin. And Drug she, store. Drugstore or pharmacy, right? The same, uh-huh. Very good. Drugstore. Very good. Uh, a pharmacy or a drugstore? Nice. Let's go to the last one. Mike. Hey, Mike. Listen to Mike. Four. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. Uh-huh. What does Mike need? A magazine. A magazine, right? To read at the beach, imagine. You go to the beach to, you know, to bathe, not to read. But then, a magazine. And where is he going to buy the magazine, class? Bookstore. Sorry? A bookstore. A bookstore? Bookstore. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now you stop you stop working, Jorge? Yes. Yes, excellent also, Jorge. I like the attitude of Jorge, you know, working, listening to the class, participation. That's good. That is the attitude, Jorge. Nice. Congratulations. You are an example for everybody. Thank you. The the only the only thing is I don't see the coffee and the semita. Where is the semita? <laughs> okay. Good. Let's continue, right? Now, any question about this? Any question, class? Do you have any question? No. Okay. Okie dokie. Now, let's continue with the next part, right? Conversation, right? It's an emergency. Listen to the audio, please. Okay, here. Page 87, exercise three, conversation. It's an emergency. Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Oh, dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay. Listen again, please. Page 87. Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom, now. It's an emergency. Oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay. Now, please listen again to the conversation and repeat, please. Repeat. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm.
I'm sorry, I... I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Now. It's an emergency. Oh, dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes. It's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okie dokie. Now I need two students who practice this conversation, right? Volunteers, please raise your hands. Me, teacher. Voy ahí, teacher. Uh, Andres. Yes. Okay, give me a second, please. Andres and Carolina, right? Yes. 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 Carolina, is it you? Yeah, right? Okay, good. Now, late. Ah, yes. sorry, and, uh, Andres, right? Give me a second. No le había puesto asistencia, Andres. Give me a second. Eh, no le resolvieron, Andres. No, teacher. Híjole. Ah, entre ahora y mañana inundémoslo de mensajes, porque yo volví a mandar mensajes, así que, ¿verdad? Así que usted sigue intentando. Vamos a ver. Eh, Carolina. Here, right. Ya le tomó la asistencia, Carolina. Very good. Now, ready? One, two, three, action. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Now it's an emer emergency. Oh, there, well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks, thanks. Thank you, thank you a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Good. Muchas gracias. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks a, a lot. lot. Very good. You can miss it. No te puedes perder. Right? You can miss it. You say, excuse me, where is Salvador del Mundo? Ah, oh, okay. Excuse me, where is Cathedral? You can miss it, right? Okay. Now, two more volunteers, please. Two more volunteers to practice this conversation. Please help me. Jackson. Uh, Joe is Jill. Christy. No. Christy. Okay. Thank Christy. you, Christy. Christy and Christy and only Joe. Christy. Come. Okay, Oscar. Thank you, Oscar. A todo esto le vamos a poner asistencia. Ah, sí, ya le habíamos puesto. Ah, no, no, no. Oscar Daniel, right? Thank you, Oscar. Oscar is the man and Christy is the woman in the conversation. Ready? One, two, three, action. Excuse me. Can you help me? A public restaurant. A public restaurant? Um, I'm sorry. 
I don't think so. Oh no. I don't need some extra. Now, it's fine. I'm again. Oh, then. Well, there is a restaurant in the department in the department store on Main Street. Where am I? Is on the corner of May and Pierce Avenue. On the corner of May and Pierce? Yes, it's across from the park you can miss it. You can miss it, oh. that's okay. Right? Oh, so, sorry, sorry, Oscar, thanks a lot. Very good, that's it, right? Now, uh, sorry, let me check something here. Uh, page 81, right? Sorry, I'm, I'm checking a, 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 a page. Let's just uh, verificando una información aquí nada más. Okay, let me see. Uh, class number 18 yesterday solo quiero ver si ayer les dejé algo pendiente permítame ok class top um, interchange page 8 yes everything is ok todos estamos bien ahí entonces so let's continue with the next one yes continue good preposition of place right me dicen si este tema ya lo habíamos visto, chicos. Los, los chicos experimentados del curso pasado, vamos a ver. ¿Ya lo habíamos visto? Andrés, me ayuda. Hello, teacher. Este, vimos este tema. Vimos, no, vimos uno similar, pero no ese exactamente. ¿Este? ¿Este mapa lo vimos? No. No, no, va, ok, muy bien, estamos bien. Gracias por acordarme. Es que, es que eh, hay dos temas que se llaman el, los imperativos que estamos viendo y directions, es otro tema, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, hay bastante material y no quiero repetirles lo sí. mismo, ¿verdad? Ok, good. El, Now, que, listo. el, que, vi, el, ajá. el que vimos fue el de direction. El de direct, ajá, pero este es de direcciones también. Le voy, Ajá, le, lo que es. le voy a poner otro material, Andrés, ahí me ayuda para no repetirles lo mismo, ¿verdad? No voy a hacer que, que yo me equivoque. Esto, ¿se acuerda de haber visto esto? No. No, no. Ah, pues, bueno, tenemos entonces bastante material para practicar, entonces. <risa> ok. Bueno, entonces, regálame un segundito, ahí estamos. Eh, Realemos un segundito, aquí estamos, ahí está. Ok. Listen to the audio, please. Pay attention. Page 88, exercise 5, grammar focus. Prepositions of place. Page 88. On. On the corner of. Across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. ¿Qué está haciendo, <laughs> Sorry, no puedo desconectar el audio. Real un segundo. Perdón, a veces hay un error aquí en el audio. Hoy vamos a ver si ahora suena bien, permítanme. Hoy sí. Okay. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Sorry for the oso. Ok. Solo tiene que darle volumen porque casi no escucha. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. 
The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Ok, eh, ¿se escuchó bien? ¿Andrés? Hello, teacher. Sí, se escuchó, solo que un poco suave. Un poco suave. Mm, bueno, vamos a ver otra vez entonces. Me está fallando la, la puntería, ¿verdad? Ok. Hoy sí, vamos. Page 88, exercise 5, grammar focus. Hoy sí. Okay, Prepositions of place. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Good. Now, these are directions, right? And when you give uh, instructions, you uh, practice this instruction, right? Good. Now, we're going to practice saying some places, right? Where is... What is the coffee shop? What is the bank? Etc. Etc. Right. Okay, here we are, right? Let me see. Here we have a map, right? And in this map we have uh, some streets. We have uh, Main Street, Park Street, First Avenue, Second Avenue right? Center Street, etc., etc. So, where is the coffee shop? The coffee shop is, ah, on 2nd Avenue. Let me see. The coffee shop. 2nd Avenue. Ah, uh, here, look. I will show you where the place is. Al's Coffee Shop. So the coffee shop is on 2nd Avenue. It's what? Across from, next to, in front of. Across from. Look at the preposition on, on the corner of, across from, next to, or between the shoe store. Next, next to. to next to correct the coffee shop is on second avenue it's next to the shoe store right okay remember the prepositions on on the corner of across from next to and between right good now let's go to the movie theater. What is the movie theater? Where is the gas station? Where is the post office? Where is the bank? Where is the bank? Okay, in the meantime, I will take the attendance. Voy a pasar la asistencia nuevamente. En lo que ustedes me leen el mapa. Enoch. Caroline. Eh, Beatriz, sorry. Beatriz. Eh, eh, Cristina, sorry. <laughs> Cristina. Present. Present. Eh, Carolina. Present. Esaú. Esaú. Present. Good. Eh, Elizabeth. Jill. Present. Giovanni. Beatriz. Present. 
Jennifer. Present teacher. Jorge. Present teacher. Eduardo. Present. Karina. Alejandro. Manuel. Manuel Eduardo. Mario. Andrés. Present teacher. Oscar. Oscar. Oscar Daniel. Patti. Present. Esmeralda. Present teacher. Bil Thank you. Vilma. Ok, los que están de oyente, por favor. Eh, ahí me ponen en el, en el chat para dejarlo de constancia, right? Mario, ah, Mario, sorry, Mario, se me olvidó. Sorry, Mario. Ahí está Mario también. Yes. Hoy es último día, ¿verdad? De los oyentes. Mañana no está, no hay permiso para oyentes mañana. <ríe> Todos a participar. Ok. Eh, y Alejandro, ok, thank you Alejandro solo me falta Vilma me ponga ahí en el chat Vilma por favor Vilma, póngame el chat presente y Giovanni, please Giovanni también ah yes eh, Oscar Oscar, perdón no, 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 lo, no lo ubico Esaú, uh, no. Eh, me vea... no Oscar, Oscar. Ah, Oscar, Oscar, sí, Oscar. Oscar. Eh, excelente, ahorita Oscar ya sí. le tomé la asistencia, yes. Yes. Sí, y qué bueno que está... Par... La conexión, no vuelvo a conectar. Sí, eh, conténtese con el vecino, Oscar, por favor. Hay que evitar pleitos. Ya, ya. <ríe> Ya le dije sí. que está el que... Funciona, funciona. <risa> Mira, Andrés no le falla, ve, ¿eh? usted lleva súper bien con los vecinos. <risa> ok. Now, let's continue, please. Sigamos entonces, chicos. Ah, bueno, les recuerdo también lo de la plataforma. Ayer estuvimos trabajando y felicito a la mayoría, ¿verdad? Ya casi los tengo completitos a todos. Solo me falta Esaú. No sé si la, la terminó este día, Esaú. Solo el examen final le falta a esa U. Eh, no, ahora la tenemos que... Va, excelente, porque fíjese que el examen final vale como el 30%, creo. Si no me hacen el examen final, mire, ok. Gracias, y cualquier cosa, ahí estoy a sus órdenes. Bro. Sir, yes, sir. Eh, también me falta Karina, no está ahora. Eh, Mario, Mario, me falta Mario. Ya casi solo unos puntitos le faltan, Mario. El examen final no me lo ha completado todo. Oiga, por favor, si puede ahora. Y quiero ver qué más. Eh, Vilma. ¿Verdad, Vilma? Necesito que me ayude ahí con la plataforma. Oiga, por favorcito. Yes. De ahí todos los demás. Excelentoso. Todos estamos bien ahí. Congratulations. Ok, let's continue with the class. Now, where is the movie theater? He says Park and Main. Park and Main. The movie th theater is. Vamos a ver. On, on the corner of, across from, next to, or between. Where is the movie theater? Está un poco complicadito este mapa, ¿verdad? Pero yo sé que me lo van a ubicar. Aquí está The Park. Ah, no, no, The Movie Theater es, perdón. <laughs> Sorry. The Movie Theater, qué oso. Ok. <laughs> Ahí está, bien grandote. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sorry. It's across from. Mm, no, 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 but The Movie Theater is Park and Main, you know. Park is the name of the street. And main is also street, right? So what is the, the correct location? I will repeat. Look, 
Uh, on, on the corner on. of. On. Mm, two streets, dos calles que se juntan en una esquina, so. On. on the corner of. Very good, on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Parks, right? Park Street and Main. Main. Park Street and Main, yes. And it's across from across from the park. Muy, very good, right? Está en la esquina de la park y la main y enfrente del parque. Very good. Excelentoso. Ahora, the gas station. Me voy a mover un poquito acá porque no me alcanza la vista. Hasta allá está la gas station, hasta la esquina. Gas, gas, gas station. Gas, gas station, right? So, where is gas, gas station? Look. The parking lot. This is the parking lot. And first and center. First and center, right? So where is the gas station? I think I can say my chiquito, yes. Oh, it's a Okay. So where is the the gas station? The option across says, from across from the parking lot. Yes, in front of the parking right? Across from the parking lot. And the gas station is first, first, and center. On. 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 Okay, listen. When you have one avenue and one street, look, is a corner of... on the corner, on the corner on the of, cor on the corner oh. of, look, first and main street, look, very good. Es algo complicadito este ejercicio, pero veo que lo vamos haciendo bien. So this is the gas station. So the gas station is across from the parking lot and on the corner of first and center street, right? Okie dokie. Now let's go to the, the post office. El banco ya no lo vamos a hacer porque ya no se alcanza a ver. Okay, the post office. Where is the post office, class? The post office. On the corner of center and second. On the corner of, of center and second. Let me see. On the corner of center street and second avenue. Permítame que aquí tengo algo que no me deja ver. On the corner of center street and second avenue. Correct. On the corner, right? The post office is on the corner of center and second. Uh-huh. And the hospital. Say it's is next to. Is next to the hospital. <laughs> nice. Congratulations. Yes. I like it. I like it, right? Now let's continue. Let me see. Uh, here, right? Okay, here. Look, there are some, some places in New York, right? There are many cities in the world. For example, we have uh, Washington, we have uh, Paris, we have Rome, we have San Salvador, right? San Salvador at uh, this moment is 
the center of the world because we have uh, the Juegos Centroamericanos del Caribe in this moment, right? Is the attention. In El Salvador, we have many touristic attractions. But, of course, New York is bigger than El Salvador, right? Thousand times bigger. <laughs> and here we have some some touristic attraction in the in United States, in, in New York especially. Page 89, Please. exercise 7, snapshot. Top tourist attractions, New York City. Listen and practice. The Empire State Building, Grand Central Terminal, Central Park, Times Square, Rockefeller Center, the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty, right? Or Liberty, you want. I remember the Grand Central Terminal for a movie that the name of the movie was with Kevin Costner. Uh, the name was Los Intocables, right? And in this, they filmed the movie, in one of, part of the movie in this Grand Central Terminal, okay? So these are the places. And where, where, where is, for example, if you're looking for a touristic attractions, you're looking for directions. So you use imperative, right? Imperatives. So this is the topic, right? Remember the topic for today, imperatives, right? Now, Page listen. 89, listen. exercise 8, conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Behind you or behind you. You can say behind or behind. Detrás de usted. Sorbete. <laughs> no, no sorbete, no. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, uh, now... Repeat after me, please. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? Repeat. Come on, repeat. How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? How do I get to St. 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 Patrick's Cathedral. Just walk up Fifth Avenue. Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. Fiftieth Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. St. Patrick is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes. It's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around. 
turn around and look up. Here we have class some imperatives, right? So it says walk, walk up, look. Notice that we don't say you walk up, they walk up. No, we say walk up is uh, the instruction, right? Then turn around is imperative too. And look up, right? Look up. Those are imperative, right? Imperatives don't use subject, right? And they are instructions when you are lost. Now, listen again, and then we're going to have participation. Listen again. Page 89, exercise from here. Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes. It's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Very good. Two volunteers to practice this conversation, please. I need a tourist and a woman, please. Boy, teacher. Okay, uh, Andres. Thank you, Andres. You're the tourist, right? I need a woman. I mean, it could be a member. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the woman uh, part, right? Andres versus <laughs> volunteers. Hey, teacher. Ah, okay. Uh, Jill. Oh, Vilma. Oh, Jill, Jill. Right? Jill. Okay, thank you. Thank <laughs> you, Jill. Excuse me, you know. It, it, by microphone, it's dif difficult to <laughs> recognize the voice. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. The actors of Hollywood. Tonight, we have Jill and Andres. Action. Excuse me. Mom, can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to Fifth Fifty Fiftieth Fifty Street. St. Patrick it is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the pier? Is that building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look. Look up, very good, excellent also, right? Now, let's go to the to the grammar. Ah, sorry, what happened here? Uh, here, right? Directions. Listen, please. Page ninety, exercise nine, grammar focus. Directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up 5th Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down 5th Avenue. Go down 5th Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. Good. So these are instructions. Walk up or go up. Turn left walk down or go down right turn right so these are instructions and we use here imperatives imperative right okay now uh, we are going to go to the manual vamos a trabajar con el manual right 
And we are going to review one of these things. Let me see. Um, okay, but before to go to this, we have the imperative here, right? Antes de ir al manual, todavía nos queda una conversación aquí. Listen, please. Page 81, exercise 6, conversation. Don't work too hard. Listen and practice. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Okay. Now listen again, please. Page 81, Exercise 6, Conversation. Don't work too hard. Listen and practice. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Good. In the conversation class, we have, again, the use of imperative, right? Look at this. Take one pill. Don't drink coffee. Coffee is not so good, right? Especially soda. It's extremely bad. Don't drink soda, right? Don't work. It says, don't work too hard. Take it easy. Relax, right? Go to the Tunco Beach and that's it, right? <laughs> don't work too hard, right? So again, we have this imperative, right? Imperatives. And here we have the, the theory. Here, right? Listen, please. Page 82, exercise 9, grammar focus. Imperatives. Get some rest. Drink lots of juice. Take one pill every evening. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Don't work too hard. I'm sorry. Okay, good. So affirmative, get, drink, take. Remember, you only use the verb, right? Number two, in negative, you use don't. Don't stay, don't drink, don't work, right? Okay. Now, we're going to share the, the manual. Ahorita les comparto el manual. Okay, sorry. Let me give you let me give some minutes here. Okay. The manual. Okay, open the manual here. And then I will share with you. Page 44, right? Good. These are the imperatives. Look how to use imperatives. Page number 44. Look in your menu. How to use imperatives. Go straight, go past, turn left, turn right. Go up the street, go down the street, walk down the street, go on for four blocks, 
take the first left o take the first right. Uh, agarre la primera calle a la derecha, right? La primera calle a la izquierda. Is take the first left or take the first right? Uh, do the phrases about have a subject? No, right? They don't have a subject. So we use a verb without a personal pronoun, right? To give directions. So when you give directions, no subject. Don't say, eh, they go straight. No, only go straight. Or don't say, we go past. Mm -mm, only go past, right? Okay, class. This is everything with the imperatives. I don't know if you have any question. I have a question. Sorry, yes. Uh -huh. Tell me, Eduardo. Uh, do the phrases about have a subject is not correct. Okay. No, uh, the answer when, is no. But when, but when walk many people, three or four people, uh, ask me, excuse me, uh, uh, where, where, no sé cómo me preguntaría, ¿en dónde está el parque? Where is the so park? Solo le tengo que decir a uno, uh, where is the park? Les tengo que decir, hey, they go, o no le tengo que decir they go. ¿Ustedes van o no? No, 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 because... Eh... Eduardo, it could be one person or two or three or four. It's not important. You say go. Go straight. Va a ser recto, right? Go straight. So it could be singular mm -hmm. or plural. It could be she or he. It could be uh, you or, or, or you know, so the is is uh, plural or singular. Go. Woman or men, go. In imperatives, it's not important the person. You only say go. Open the book. Close the windows. Give me, give me semita. <laughs> okay? So you go directly. And it's not important the subject. Ahí no importa si sea singular, plural, ella, él. Solo dele la dirección. So it's impersonal, right? Impersonal. There is a you implicit, aunque en realidad hay un you ahí implícito. No se ve, pero ahí está, ¿no? Tú ve. ¿Ah? Pero, uh, as I say, Eduardo, no importa que sea plural o singular el, el, la persona a la que usted le esté dando instrucciones. Eso no importa, ¿ok? Good. Thank you for the question. Any other question? Qué bárbaro, Andrés, ahí tiene el mero escudo, ¿verdad?, de los motociclistas. Excelentoso. <ríe> ok. Se ha parado Andrés ahí, pero nos ha dejado el símbolo de, del poder. <ríe> ok, good. Now, any question? So, we are going to see the presentation for tonight, class. The presentation for tonight. Ok. Believe it or not, right? It was the review of yesterday, right? Aunque no lo crean, todo lo que acabamos de ver era el repaso de la clase de ayer. Ahora vamos a ir a la clase de ahora. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, today is uh, June 22nd, right? The class is class 19. And to learn, we're going to learn how to use get and go. Get and go. So, if we have the objective, please, uh, Eduardo, please read the objective for tonight. Travel plans. I will be I will be able to request and provide instruction about the means of transportation to get to a place. Okay, thank you very much. So, instructions and transportation, right? So, Jill, can you name five means of transportation? Five examples of transportation. Jill?
Okay, Patty, help me, please. Give me five examples of transportation, means of transportation. Bus. Uh-huh, bus. Car. Car. Train. Train. Taxi. Taxi. Motorcycle. There we go. Thank you very much. Now, Carolina. Carolina, when you go to your work, do you prefer drive? Or the bus? Or the, the van is el microbus, right? Microbus, van, mini van. Taxi or tuk-tuk? What do you prefer, Carolina? Okay, Oscar, please. Oscar Daniel. What do you prefer to go to work, Oscar? You prefer to drive the bus? The... Bus, bus is more economic. And mm. I prefer for economic bus. <laughs> the, the bus, okay. You're right. Thank you very much. Esau, what about you, Esau? What do you prefer? I uh, prefer, um, usually, is a car. The car. You, you prefer to drive, right? Okay. Right. Thank you very much. Now, Esmeralda, do you like to travel in Tuk Tuk? Teacher, ¿qué es Tuk Tuk? Tuk Tuk is a mototaxi. Oh... I am uh, bus, bus, bus. bus. You, don't, you don't like tuk tuk, right? You prefer bus. Okay, nice. So these are examples of uh, transportation. Now, uh, we have some vocabulary far away, you know, far away, distant, remote. For example, uh, Morazan, Cacaopera, for example, is far away, far away. Distant, right? Remote. Car rental. A car rental is a company that rents automobiles for short periods of time to the public. Car rental. Block. An area of land with, with streets on all its sides. Block. A quadra. By foot. Walking, right? The same. By foot. Walking. Now, let's take a look at the conversation. Say, excuse me, how can I get to the airport? In El Salvador is Monseñor Romero Airport, right? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go by foot. Thanks a lot. Good. Now, please repeat after me. Repeat after me, ladies and gentlemen. Ready? Repeat after me. Excuse me. How can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi. Or you can drive. Thanks. Uh, uh, I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive. Mm. 
but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Now, we're going to practice the conversation of speaker B and speaker A, right? Uh, Vilma? Está por ahí, Vilma? Vilma, Vilma. Ok, no, no tenemos a Vilma. Y Mario, no sé si puede participar Mario. No, ¿verdad? Está de oyentes. Bueno, entonces tenemos a Oscar en Esmeralda, please. Oscar, your letter A. Esmeralda, your letter B. Ready? One, two, three, action. Excuse me. How can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, Patricia and Andres, please. Patricia, your A. Andres, your B. Ready? One, two, three, action. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? We, oui. the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Think mm, I'm going to drive, but, ne but I need to rent a car. Is the a car renter near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot to you. Good pronunciation. Thank you. Good. Now I will read for the last time. And then I will have a... Alejandro is just listening, right? Perdón, quiero ver. Alejandro solo está de oyente. Quiero ver. Ah, no. Puede participar, ¿verdad, Alejandro? Yes. Okay. So, Alejandro and... And Eduardo, right? But first, listen, please pay attention. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Airport. Air, no, airport. Well, the airport is very far away. Far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Drive. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to drive. But I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay, please, Alejandro, you're ready? Your, your speaker A and Eduardo is speaker B. Action.
Okay, I guess Alejandro is not ready, right? So uh, I will need Jorge. Jorge, can you participate, please? You're yeah. going to be okay. Thank you. Speaker A, right? And Eduardo again, speaker B. Ready? One, two, three, action. Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can ride. Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Okie dokie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now? Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Perdón. Eh, después de the airport is very far away. Far eh, away. Uh, far, far away. Está muy lejos. Far away. Look at Perdón? this. Muy lejos. Look, far away. Muy lejos. Distant. Ah, Distant. Okay. Remote. Far away. Ah. Mm -hmm. No tenían claro qué, qué significaba. Sí. Uh -huh. Far away, it's, for example, Morazán is far away from San Salvador, right? Cacao Pera. Okay. Cacao Pera, it's very far okay. from, from San Salvador. I used to go to Cacao Pera, eh, Andrés, but they take away the, the opera. Pero cuando le quitaron la opera, ya no, no, I didn't, didn't like to go there, right? Okay. <laughs> Now, uh, I will have another two couple, another couple, sorry, is going to be Jennifer, Jennifer and Teacher, Jennifer. Teacher, yeah? participate. Yeah, who is it, Jill? Beatriz. Oh, Beatriz, thank you. Now, uh, Andre is sleeping right now, right? Yes. Beatriz? Yeah. Okay, he's good. good. <laughs> okay, very good. So Beatriz and 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 Jennifer, Jennifer Guadalupe, right? Beatriz, you're going to be letter A. And Jennifer is going to be letter B, right? Ready? Action. Okay. Excuse me. How can I get to the airport? Why? The airport. Is very far away. You be tax or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's a walk blocks top top three. Good can. Three, four. Okay, Jennifer, listen again. Repeat. Is two blocks. Is two blocks down the street. Down the street. You can go there. You can do where. You can go there. Go there. By foot. By foot. Okay. Thank you. Now, Beatriz. Thanks a lot. Very good. Thank you. And then, uh, let me see. Beatriz, rent. 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 Okay, okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, two more couples. I mean, two more students. Uh, we have Jill and Esau, please. Jill, your letter A. Esau, your letter B. Ready? One, two, Three, action. Jill, action. Miss Menjibar, do you copy? Okay, so I will have Esau and Carolina, right? Esau, you are A. 
and Carolina B. Ready? Action. Esaú, do you copy? Yo soy el B. Oh. Yes, I know, but Esaú? Yes, teacher. Okay, your letter A, right? Okay. Go. Action. Excuse me. How <coughs> come I head to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go. Okay, you can go by taxi or you can drive. Esau, continue. Thanks. Hmm, I'm, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is three a car a rental near here? Sure, it's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Esaú. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Remember, eh, Esaú is babysitting. Babysitting, right? Babysitting is taking care of a baby. So, Esaú Jr. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry. Very, no, come, don't say sorry. So, we are happy to hear, right? The, I love the babies. Yes, it's uh my my let's say my my baby is just 10 years old so <laughs> i miss all a baby you know chinear all a baby yeah so you must be very happy so congratulations yeah. yes okay Thanks. it's difficult to sleep <laughs> but you know okay Mom. Now, yeah now uh, i will have christina and the teacher, right? Cristina, can you practice the conversation with me? You say A. You're going to be A. You're going to be A. I am going to be B, right? Ready? You begin. Excuse me. Excuse me. How can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent, a, to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure, it's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okie dokie, thank you. Okay, good. Now we're going to make this practice, right? Let's go to this practice, right? Uh... The use of can, right? Cristina, can you remember what you dreamed about last night? Do you remember your last dream, Christine? No entiendo, teacher. Okay, your last dream, su último sueño. Do you remember? Yes or no? Your last dream. Lo último que soñó, right? 
your last dream. Recuerda lo último que soñaste anoche, dice. Mm -hmm. Christy, do you yes. remember? Yes. Yes. Can you tell us? Or, or is too personal? Is too personal um, or can you tell us? No. Cuidado, <laughs> cuidado. <laughs> no, no, that's why I say it's, it's, if it's too personal, Christy, right? It's trampa. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't. <laughs> cuidado, cuidado. <laughs> no, Andrés. No, no. Say trampa in English, teacher. Uh, it's, it, you're cheating, cheating, huh? Christy? Cheating. Soñé con un viaje. Ah, oh, nice. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Carolina. ¿Cómo, ¿cómo uh, Christy was traveling to Russia. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Christy, okay. A rescatarlo de su... Con un viaje. Ah, bueno. Oye, ¿qué dijo? Soñé con un viejo. No, cama. Bien, <laughs> no, yeah, no Andrés. Que, 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 que se caiga de la moto. Que se caiga de la moto, por eso. Okay. Yo, Eduardo, no me le des semita a André, por favor. Que no me le des semita, ok. No. Es para eso aburrirnos, estábamos todos yes. ahí callados, aburridos. Yes, you. <risa> Sorry, Christy. Ok, Carolina. No problem. What six animals can eat you? Well, at least you can you can mention three animals, no six. Six is too much. Three animals that can eat you. A pig, chicken, sorry. No, no, chicken, no. You can eat the chicken, but the question is, the animal eat you. The lion. The lion? Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, a dinosaur <laughs> and um, me cocodrilo. <laughs> very good, thank you, thank you very much, right? Thank you very much, okay, Patty. Can you make a sound like a bird or like an animal? Can you imitate a bird or other animal, Patty? Ah, okay, very good. <laughs> Excellent. A dog, right? Firu, Firu, lies, right? Now, uh, Andres, can you say hello in other languages? Es, eh... can, can you say hello in Japanese, for example, right? Lo último que dijo, perdón. Can you say hello in Japanese, for example? Just one example, right? Because it says all the languages. Japanese, Portuguese, French, Swahili. Solo no Spanish in English. <laughs> Okay. Creo que, le, creo que sí era. Ajá. Hello, hello and hola, right? Ajá. And I will teach you how to say good morning in Japanese. Ready? Ohayo gozaimasu. Ah. Ese es chino o Japón? Japanese. Ohayo gozaimasu. Ah, Andrés, okay. Andrés San, Ohayo gozaimasu. Good morning. ¿Lo puede escribir? Uh, no, I'm not sure. No, no, sorry. I only heard. I only heard. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Good. Pero vuelvo a decir cómo es. Ohio. Ohio. Cosaima. Ohio. Cosaima. Ohio. Cosaima. Cosaima. Uh, it's good morning. Good morning. Ohio. Good morning. Yes, good. And how do you okay. say, for example, a drunk man in French? 
borracho in, in, in French. How do you say that? No? Is Le Fondier. Le Fondier. <laughs> okay, yes. Good. Now, <laughs> <It's Le Fondier. laughs> yeah, that's French, right? That's Bolo in, in French. <laughs> okay, now, Jorge. Can you tell me, Jorge, why can chicken fly? Yes. Why? Why? ¿Por qué no pueden volar los pollitos? Why? Why can chicken fly? Sorry? Creo, creo que por el peso. Because they are too heavy. Son muy pesados. Okay, but there are some chompipes that can fly. In the United States, <laughs> there are some chompipes that can fly, you know? Algunos son pipes que pueden volar, right? Also, elephant. Remember Dumbo? Dumbo. Dumbo is an elephant, right? A pesar del peso puede volar. <laughs> now I'm kidding, Jorge. Yes, maybe you are right. Maybe because they are too heavy. Son muy pesados. Eduardo, please. Can you remember what we studied in our last English class, Eduardo? Yes. What? Imperative. Imperative. Very good. That's it. It's, it's time to finish. Creo que ya nos pasamos del tiempo, así que I'm going to finish with the trivia. And I say good, good night, right? History tip, trivia, right? Ready to answer? Question number one. What wooden animal did the ancient Greeks hide, escondieron, right? Inside to capture the city of Troy. A cow, a dog, or a horse? A horse. A horse? Yes. La ciudad de Troya, right? Horse. Nice. Now, which one of these events in history happened first? ¿Qué pasó primero? The World War I, Segunda Guerra Mundial, la Primera Guerra Mundial, sorry. Juan of Arc leads the French into battle. Juana de Arco lideró los franceses en batalla, right? O Marco Polo travels to China. What is first? Juan of Arc. Juan of Arc. No, sorry. Marco Polo travels to China, right? He was the famous trip to Marco Polo. Which of this is not possible to win? as a Nobel Prize. Physics, peace, or music? ¿Cuál de estos premios Nobel no existe? Physics, peace, or music? Music. Music, correct, right? And finally, approximately how long did it take for the Titanic to sink? ¿Cuánto le tardó al Titanic un día? Three, eight, or 14 hours? Eight hours. Eight. eight hours. Eight. Okay, let me see. Oh, sorry. Three hours. It was very fast, right? Let's say, Jack, Jack, cubito de hielo, Jack. You know, so, <laughs> very emotion, right? Okay. Any question, class? So before we finish, I want to remind you that uh, please try to finish the try to finish the, the platform, right? A los chicos que mencioné, por favor, traten de terminarme la plataforma porque eh, ya tenemos que haberla terminado. ¿no? Así que thank you very much. I don't know if you have any question. ¿Hay alguna pregunta extra, chicos? So voy a tomar la asistencia. Y vamos a ver quién se va a quedar conmigo esta noche. Uh, solo son siete minutos, right? Eh, ¿Con Eduardo ya nos quedamos, Eduardo? Yes. Yes, ah, ok, good. Uh, ¿Esmeralda? Sí, yo también, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Yeah, right. Andrés, ¿con Andrés? ¿Ya me quedé con Andrés? Yes. Yes. Pero igual no hay problema. Oh, thank you, Andrés. Thank you very much. Good.
we can practice the imperative, right? No problem. Okay, class. Attendance, you say present, please. Enoch. Qué raro que faltó Enoch, nunca falla, ¿verdad? Este, Beatriz. I mean, Cristina. Good night, teacher. Good night. Carolina. Present, teacher. Okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Esaú. Elizabeth. Bye. Bye, see you. See you tomorrow. Elizabeth. Jill. Giovanni. Beatriz. Good night, teacher. Good night. Uh, Jennifer. Good night, teacher. Bye bye, Jorge. See you, Eduardo. Bye, teacher. Bye, take care, Carolina. I mean, Karina. Karina. Alejandro. Manuel. Mario. Andrés. No se me va a ir, Andrés. Eh, Oscar. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. Eh, Patty. Good night. Good night, Esmeralda. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, Vilma. Okay. Very good. Now. I have the commenter here, uh, Alejandro, yes, good night, and Mario. Thank you, Alejandro and Mario. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, Jill. Goodbye, Vilma. See you tomorrow. Okay, Andres, I like your, I don't know how to say the, the is a, is a cloth, es un manto, or is a, or is a, is a flag. A flag that you have behind you. The microphone, Andres, the microphone. Sorry, sorry. What sí, es it? como un banner. Ah, es okay. Un... Very interesting. Uh -huh. you, you told me that. Que... I remember you told me that you go in groups with motorcycle, right? Yes. Yes, okay. Ya, ya le he comentado que uh -huh, yes. I know. I know you have a group and you travel to many places. I remember you told me that the first time we had the interview in basic two. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. And I told you that I, I had a motorcycle. Uh I had a Yamaha FZR 450, you know, it was it was Chula. A yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah. And it, sí. oh, come on. It, yeah. <laughs> but, but I had I had an accident and I, I sold it. La vendí, right? Sold sí. it anyway, right? And now when you have family, it's better to have a car sometimes. Yes, sometimes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Andres, um, do you have any question about uh, the imperatives? No, no, todo bien, todo bien, este, el momento, solo preocupado ahí con lo de la plataforma, yeah, pues, yeah. ya mañana I, es viernes, de I hecho, send... yo le voy a comentar que creo que me voy a conectar después de las ocho. Ah, ok, but I, I will wait for you, right, 8.30, hasta, hasta las ocho y media, vamos a comenzar el. Ah, ok. Sí, sí este, por Mire, lo que voy a hacer miedo. es, le voy a hablar al jefe, ¿verdad?, directamente, porque quizás los compañeros uh -huh. no sé por qué no, no, han, no han copiado quizás el mensaje o, o no sí, les ha llegado. Sí, o sea, lo raro es de que igual, o sea, como le dije, me llamaron eh, hace como tres días, me llamaron uh -huh. y, o sea, les expuse el caso y me dijeron de que tenía bloqueado el usuario. Uh -huh. Entonces que uh -huh. ingresara nuevamente, probé y de hecho me dijeron que probara del 1 al 5 en la contraseña, probé y nada, probé con mi propia contraseña, igual tampoco. Entonces, ahorita igual, hoy temprano volví a probar y no, no, nada, no, no pude ingresar. 
Entonces solo me dijo la chica que me llamó de que me iba a regresar la llamada a las tres y media. Pero no, nada. me quedé esperando, no, no me la regresaron. Luego eh, escribí ayer y ni han visto mi mensaje. <ríe> Y en, no el sé grupo, qué en el grupo no puede darle responder a, a los mensajes de los compañeros ahí, porque a veces ah. uh -huh, pruebe también eso. Ajá, ¿no? eso sí, y eso le repito, sí no lo he hecho. Ma mañana voy a intentar yo, este, eh, quizás mandarle un mensaje al jefe ahí, ¿verdad? No, sí, un... solo que sí, honestamente, híjole, para mañana... Está muy difícil, sí. Estar bastante. Y de ribete que sí, mañana en mi trabajo va a estar full, full. Eh, eh, perdón, mire, perdón la expresión, full topado, porque sí, este, por lo de las lluvias hemos, hemos estado bastante complicados en esta semana. Eh, eh, no sé Entonces, si se podría que el sábado le dieran permiso de, de terminarlo todo, ¿verdad? Pero, pero no sé. Hay. Híjole, y el sábado voy todo el día al trabajo también. Estoy bien complicado ahorita. Porque de hecho ayer nos dijeron de que eh, mañana viernes, bueno, empezaba desde hoy, pero el enfoque es mañana viernes y sábado, que eh, le llaman full operativo en el banco. Vamos todo el día, incluso a veces nos pasamos de las 5 de la tarde, a veces voy saliendo a las 7 de la noche, ya cuando me toca el cierre, rendir y todo eso entonces sí, bien complicado y sí, el sábado voy todo el día de hecho ni sé a qué hora voy a salir igual mañana, por eso le decía yo que voy a estar bueno, si me da la respuesta sí, si me da mañana la respuesta, yo le, le comunico a usted eh, si se puede domingo o hasta el lunes no sé, hasta cuándo irán a hacer el cierre ellos, ¿verdad? pero uh -huh. pero vamos a hacer la última porque toda la semana estaba mandando okay. mensajes y tampoco me han respondido a mí. Así sí, que... un poco. Y lo siento, lo sí, siento. Sé, o sea, sí, veces... es un problema técnico, es un problema técnico y verdad. Y... Como le diré, si estuviera, en mi... si estuviera en mis manos, yo <ríe> ya le hubiera ayudado. Sí, ojalá, ojalá no me vaya a afectar, ¿va? porque o sea, yo sé que es parte pues, de, de lo que pide Insafor. Y pues sí, ojalá. Entonces, que, no es culpa que... suya, pues, es un problema técnico, sí. Es un sí, cabal, así que ojalá ahí se pueda resolver y si no, pues ni modo y nos vemos ahí en otro, otra ocasión. No, de <ríe> eh, Andrés, que no sea así porque sí quiero seguir. Oh, sí, sí, claro, claro que sí, eso mismo dígales, llámenles otra vez, Andrés, por favor. Mañana, okay. aunque sea ocupadito, yo sé, pero una llamada ahí insistente, ¿verdad? Este, sí. Y, um, pero ¿qué le ha parecido este curso? en relación al anterior. Mm, no, excelente, la verdad. Como le decía la vez pasada que nos quedamos eh, en los minutos extras, eh, excelente, me parece bien. Um, al inicio era como que, puche, que vamos a tener otro teacher. Desde, desde cuando empezamos con este Mr. Machuca. Uh -huh. <ríe> y todo así como que, hey, no, ya queremos que siga ahí el teacher, teacher y ajá. luego pues de que ajá, este, estuvo usted en el módulo anterior y genial la verdad y cada vez pues vamos entrando más en confianza y, y muy bien, me parece sí. excelente la forma de llevar los cursos tanto de su persona la convivencia con los compañeros bastante Compañero, buena bien. y pues lo que, lo que sí le decía la vez pasada lo que me gusta bastante es este, la participación que nos dan entonces eso nos ayuda bastante, nos ayuda yeah. bastante porque una cosa es escuchar nada más y, la y otra es también escuchar y, y practicarlo, hablarlo. Yeah. Entonces eso es bastante bueno y sí le agradezco esa parte a usted porque sí es bastante eh, equitativo en eso también, no trata de darle oportunidad a todos sí, y pues no, si bien es cierto, que... algunos... Algunos tienen como que más retentiva que otros, pero más sin embargo, ahí está usted apoyándonos y, y guiándonos cuando nos, nos este, enfocamos en, ay, no puedo, y usted siempre está ahí, no, sí puede. <ríe> y eso <Yes>. es bueno. <ríe> yes, yes, right. But you are very participative. You are very participative. So that is good too, because the good students make the good teacher, right? Correcto, ya yeah, así tiene que ser. Right. Okay, Andrés, thank you for staying with me. And tomorrow I will try. I will try to help you. I, I feel like 
like a compromise to help you, right? Yeah, so I, will, I will try to talk to the boss, to the manager. Let me see if he can help me, right? Okay? Okay. Goodbye. Okay. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, Good night.